as a follow-up to my previous video where I installed the pre-release firmware from ELRS to enable SBUS output on this little Happy Model EP1 receiver, I'm going to show how I've hooked it up and configured the A3 Mini to work with it. Let's take a look at the configuration of the A3 Mini first. Here we can see the basic tab. The flight modes that I use is position 1 for the mode switch off, then normal, which is normal gyro, and then level flight in position 3. I'm not messing around with any of the individual gains at the moment, but I will be putting the master gain on a slider on my transmitter. This A3 Mini is at the moment in its default factory settings. Move across to the wing type, it's a standard configuration. I'm just going to be putting this into my Bixler. My Bixler, by no stretch of the imagination, needs a gyro, but it's just uh, my test platform of choice. The mount orientation, I have plenty of room inside the model, so I can put it flat with the face up and indicating arrow towards the front there. The receiver settings, it's a serial receiver clearly, and you can use just this Futaba SBUS selection here. There are a bunch of different ones, but that's the one that is going to work for us. The other thing to note in this screen is clearly we have aileron on channel 1, elevator channel 2, rudder on 4, throttle which is just passed through is on channel 3. By default, aileron 2 is on channel 6 and the mode switch is on channel 5. As I mentioned in my previous video, channel 5 on the ELRS is only used for arming and is a, a, a binary, so that's no use for, for our three mode selection. What I'm going to do then is put aileron 2 to none because I just have an ordinary Y lead for connecting the ailerons together and change the mode switch over to channel 6. By default there's no master gain but I'm going to be putting that on channel 8. With all that set up then I can write that to the A3 Mini. In the next section we can go ahead and check that out with our transmitter. To be able to see what the gyro is receiving from the S bus, I need to power it, so I've just put a connection into the throttle channel, which I'm going to connect to my Toolkit RC charger, which also has many other functions. My transmitter is always on, already on, so we can see that that's bound. Moving across then to the A3 configurator in the receivers tab once again. Now if I move my aileron stick on the transmitter, all is good. Elevator, similar. Rudder, aileron 2 we're not using, so that's greyed out. And the mode switch at the moment on channel 6. If I put that into the centre position, that's normal gyro. Not sure if you'll be able to see it. I can't get a very clear display, unfortunately. But we can see here, gyro off. If you keep your eye on that, we're now into the normal gyro and then the level there. So channel 6 is operating correctly. The gain I have, as I said, on a slider, it's at its central position right now. So we can wind that right the way up for full gain. And we can wind it all the way down. And in that particular position with it down, effectively, the gyro is switched off. So to start, we'll just leave it in the 50% for the gain. So clearly we can see that all the transmitter functions are being passed through the SBUS to the A3 Mini correctly. All that remains to do now is to get the thing out and test it for real. Time to test out our work and see if it flies. Do you do the honours, sir? Back to, to basics. Back to it? basics. I was just going to say that. <laughs> OK. 
Okay. Okay. Yep. Like a homesick angel. Thank you. Well, takeoff was okay. Sorry about all the noise with dogs and. Got a JCB doing some work as well. And it appears that we have lost the signal. <laughs> Which is not good. What's happened to you, little plane? Mm -hmm. Oh, let's try again with our ELRS S-Bus mod. I've upped the power now to 100 milliwatts. We'll see if that cures our problem. Once more into the breach. Yeah, so we've buggered about with the settings. So it's a challenge, isn't it? Well, we'll try and miss him. Thank you. Now we'll try and keep it a little bit closer in. That is just with the uh, just using it as a PWM converter. There's no stabilization, no gyro function. A strange activity today with this JCB buggering about. We'll turn it back into the wind and just flick the gyro on. So that is in now a gyro stabilized, which will only correct for wind. When he correct for any un, uh, unscheduled inputs, shall we say? Going round again. Let's flick it into the. Now it's in fully stabilised mode, so you can see if I try and dive and then release, it's correcting. Also, if I go and bank it too far it will auto level. So the SBUS functionality is working well. I'm quite sure why the link was lost on the first outing, whether that's to do with the pre-release or I've flown ELRS with only 25 milliwatts before and not had any issues. Clearly on my first attempt something went awry. Let's take it out of stabilize, just go back to the gyro mode. And obviously being a Bixler, it doesn't need a gyro. But it also shows the, the use of that little A3 Mini as, a, as an NSBUS to PWM converter. Pushing our luck now, getting a bit further away, a little bit higher. I haven't quite worked out how the failsafe is supposed to work. That's uh, throttled off now. We'll just stooge around for a bit. Yes, as I was saying, I haven't quite fathomed out how the failsafe is supposed to work, as the only option it seems to have is to set it for no pulses or the last 
good signal received. Neither of which uh, particularly appeal to me. I'd rather have it so that I can set the system to kind of auto land, shut the motor off and just put it into a gentle turn. But I'm sure I'll find out how to do that at some point. So, at last I'm having a, a decent flight for the day. You can see there. It's a little bit of a breeze today. It's uh, not affecting it too much. But I think, let's see if we can do another Another low pass. You can perhaps just about see that there's some sort of correction going on, auto correction using the gyro there. Get a good decent long flight. I don't have any telemetry, no uh, battery voltage on this one, obviously, so I'm going to have to be a little bit cautious. Try not to fly into the excavator. Oh, it's getting a good a good distance away there and no issues completely lost the link and it didn't re-establish when I got near the plane so quite what was going on there I think we could see that um, the receiver was rapid flashing so whether that was in its Wi-Fi mode or not I guess I should have checked That's completely up with no throttle there. It doesn't want to come down. Yeah, that'll do. So we've proven that the uh, SBUS code works, I think. A little bit of a glitch to begin there with the 25 milliwatts, not quite sure what's going on there, but uh, all in all, a result. Many thanks for watching.